I was watching her from the kitchen window like every other morning while she go for work. I was waiting, I was waiting to hear from her. She might say bye or something to me before going out, but she didn't say anything to me today. She is my daughter. We had a very good father and daughter relation. Soon after came back from Bangladesh last time, I realized the relation is not the same anymore. My daughter is not talking to me like she used to talk before. My name is Munia Gopo Wadud. I'm 24 years old, born and raised in Canada. My sun sign is Aries, and I'm an artist. My name is Saiful Wadud Helal. I'm 52 years old, born and raised in Bangladesh. My sun sign is Aries, and I'm a crazy filmmaker. It all started when my daughter, she unfriended me from her Facebook account and I just don't know why she did that and soon after I realized maybe she don't want her father around uh, in her like, network but it hurts me, it hurts me in the beginning and then I just try to go see what what is going on in her Facebook and uh, in the information I, f- I found out something I, I was shocked and then I just realized that she's my daughter no matter what I have to be with her I just started thinking that what how could I go more closer to my daughter and this is the one way that I know that all my life I wanted to be filmmaker. I did make my own f- small films and once again I tried that, okay, through my filmmaking I may go closer to my daughter and this is the journey, that's how it began. My father is a filmmaker. My mother is a strong woman who has built her own path. Thirty years ago, they had thought they would name their child Golpo. Golpu means story. Among the short films that will be screened tonight is Munia's story. It features Ottawa's Munia Wadud and her journey as the child of Bangladeshi immigrants who struggles with her identity, eventually revealing to her parents that she identifies as queer femme. And as Munia opens up in the film about her journey and her decision to come out to her parents, the person behind the camera is actually her father. 